Hey nieces and nephews, it's Uncle Chris. It may be raining, it may be windy today, but that's not gonna stop me because it's Food Pantry Day. Here we go. Thank God there is no line today. I can't believe it. This one, you drive up and they just pack your car in. It's like going through a car wash. <laughs> Whew, hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, nieces and nephews, I'm back at the Uncle Chris Kitchen, and it was wet and cold out there today. I'm telling you, listen to my voice. It's going terrible, but I got some goodies, and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, first, we're going to start from left to right. Okay, I got a bag. Mmm, California-grown walled, walled, shelled walnuts. Let's see in a moment. Check that out. A whole bag. You know how expensive these things are in the store? Very, okay. I got some whole grain, whole wheat, hot dog buns. We, look, I made some chili last night and we're gonna make chili dogs with these. I love chili dogs, oh, love them. Then I got some Sara Lee, delightful bread. It's got 45 calories, no added sugar. You know what? Write down below if people that have diabetes can eat these. I'm not sure. That I'm not sure of. But it says it has no sugar in it, so I don't know. Now, I've got also one of my favorites, sourdough bread. Mmm. If you don't know the sandwiches and wonderful garlic bread this stuff makes. Oh, Oh, yes. I love it. We're off to a good start. Now, let's see what's in the box. I'm always excited to leave the box for, <laughs> for when I get home, you know. Oh, we got some Czech cereal. Chocolate. Which would be good for Jay. Because he does like chocolate. Uh, it's, it's a mixture. It's chocolate and regular. Mm. I'm good with that. Okay, I'm gonna put my bread back here. And then I'm gonna let you guys see everything we got. I'm gonna pan it up close. Oh, and by the way, yes, y'all, who get sugar cane for those wonderful things I said, what are they, the mystery uh, vegetable? You were right, it's sugar cane. <laughs> Miss Brenda's gonna show me how to process that stuff. Now we got some uh, chocolate chip cookies, some Intamins, and little Jay was in the car with me and uh, yeah, well, he tried some. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's all right. Mmm, oh, I love this. Malted pancake and waffle mix. If you have never had this, now, you know what else you can make with these? You can make a sweet and savory corn dog. You just mix this batter up and use it with your hot dog. Or you mix the batter up and make it sweet, you know, the regular way. Dip your sausage in there and you've got instant sausage dogs for breakfast. You just take them and dip them in the uh, syrup and you're good to go. And speaking of syrup, they gave us some Myers Original Syrup. This is good. It is good. Not sponsored, but it's very good. I love this. In fact, I think I think that we should do that. I'm going to show you guys how to make those breakfast things. And they're real simple. Real simple to make. Okay? We'll do that. Now. Ooh. We got some roasted almonds. They're already shelled. These are nice. 
I think I'm gonna give these to Miss Brenda because she likes to bake cookies and stuff like that. You know. We've got some Oreo flavored popcorn. I have never had this. I'm gonna let Jay tell me how it is. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I got some chili with beans. So that's great for the kids to get them a good lunch or even a good dinner. I'm running out of room on my island. If you're in a pinch for a lunch for the kids, that chili is good. It's very good, I've had it. Oh, macaroni and cheese, like I don't have enough of that. Now you know what I do with this. I just use the pasta, and if you just saw my other video with the ramen, you know, that flavor pack, I just, I just discarded it. <laughs> oh, now see, Zatarain's jambalaya, the rice. I'm gonna give this to Mr. Dean on the scene. He's gonna make his jambalaya uh, and stuff with this, and also his um, seafood case. He's been so busy, I've been trying to track him down. Oh! Rice. Wild rice. A whole pack. Yeah. Give that to Miss Brenda, too. She needs some of those. Oh, my favorite. Veggie straws. Made with sea salt. I love those. <clears throat> oh, I needed these. Now... These, I have to check, once again, the salt content, but they're roasted garlic instant mashed potatoes. In a pinch, got to fix up a quick meal for somebody, these will work. You can even take these and make them into a baked potato meal. You take your regular potatoes plus this, mix them together, then put them back in the potato shell, and bake them just a little bit, like five, ten minutes. It's, it's, yes, it is everything. <laughs> Oh, a whole bag of raisins. These are my favorite. I love these. But my absolute favorite are those dried cherries. Oh, make good cookies with this. In fact, I think I'm going to have her make some um, oatmeal raisin cookies. That would be good. Oh, look at this. Now, we've got some unusual things. Check this out. Lemon pie filling. Lemon pie filling. That's great. Oh, and they got a recipe on here for lemon bars. Y'all want to see me make some of those? Or at least a lemon pie? My grandfather, you know what? My grandfather made the best lemon meringue pie. I got two of these cans. Now, food pantry rule. If they're dented, make sure the seal is still intact. And this is, you can tell by the vacuum. Always inspect, sniff, and taste. Use your senses now. Ooh, some diced tomatoes, no salt added. My favorite. <laughs> I got some sliced new potatoes in the can. So great for making things. You can, okay. You can drain these, put them in a pan, put in your soup, put in your cheese, and you've got the all ground potatoes. All you do is bake it for like 35 minutes or less because these are already done. How about a quick casserole? Mm-hmm. Mm. And I got me some no-salt corn. I absolutely love this. No-salt corn. Mm. Now, I got some chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans. You soak these, you cook these, and then you turn them into hummus. And they will be delicious as hummus. Yes. Now, back here I have a bag. And I was so happy to get this because this food pantry haul, they gave us some different items that I hadn't gotten before. I absolutely adore these. I've gotten them once before, but not since. Until now. Look at these. So what these are, they're pork. They're pork roast cut up into steaks. Like pork chops, that's where you get them from. But boneless, these are so good. I got two packs of them. I have eight of them all together. So what I can do, I'm gonna show you how I make my smothered pork in gravy, okay? 
It's a delicious meal that you will love. Now, I'm going to get you closer so you can see a pan of everything we got and how we were blessed today. Okay? All right. Our cut up pork roast, our beans, our canned goods. Oh, look at this. Snacks, our chili, rice, grains. Mm-hmm. Not to mention our wonderful pancake mix that we can do so many things with. Our cereal, which we can still make a uh, trail mix with the nuts and raisins. The bread. This is truly a blessing. Remember, nieces and nephews, don't be afraid to go to the food pantries. You can supplement your income and your food budget just by going and maybe get some things that you haven't tried before. And if you got any questions about how to prepare any of this stuff, you write to me and I'll make it for you right here on the Uncle Chris Show, okay? Now, check this out. I've got a wonderful, wonderful resale shop and donation haul video coming up. You're not going to believe what I got for absolutely free. I want you to watch the next video I'm putting out. Hopefully I can get it out tonight or tomorrow. My video's been delayed because of the weather out here. But we picked up the most wonderful things. Wonderful things. You all are going to be jumping off your seats. We see this beautiful, I can't tell you. <laughs> wait, till, wait, wait till the next video. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. And big love from Uncle Chris. And don't forget to write to me at Uncle Chris, the food pantry chef at gmail.com. I got it right this time. <laughs> that was so crazy. Bye, y'all. I love you so much.